Why does everything need to be that hard? Yeah, it's the inside part of the turbo charger. Hi, I'm Christian. And I'm Vera. From LR Time. And in this episode, we're going to rebuild a turbocharger of a Land Rover Discovery 3. Hope you enjoy the video. Actually, we're rebuilding the turbocharger of Fabian's Land Rover Discovery 3, where we did a full engine rebuild a couple of months back. What you see today is actually lost footage, which we found now, and I finally ended up cutting this video. This was not very tight. That's the actuator. This thing. Now the hardest part is to get this out. getting too hot. This is close hanger wire, which you should always have a laugh of this in your shop. There. Holy cow! We got it out. Why does everything need to be that hard? Christian is doing everything wrong. Are you done complaining? <laughs> yes. I don't know why they just can't make safety glasses. Look at these. Look at these here. And uh, okay. Oh, I know what that is. What is that? I have no idea. Why do Germans always have to design Stop. something what you don't need? I gotta work on the turbocharger because I bought the cheapest turbocharger on the planet. Oh. This is a brass rotary brush with a speed controlled angle grinder. See how the seal is buried in here? What? Yeah, see that's not manufactured like this. The, the seal kind of burned in. So I was thinking about machining over this. Oh. Does it have to be all flat? Does yeah. it have to be all flat? No, here okay. I mean. This is all corroded. I don't have my light. So I would say we put this on the machine here. I need to get my light. But actually Christian didn't get it. He started up the camera. Ah, here is yeah, the inside part of the turbocharger. 
Hmm. See? I wonder why we are not finishing up the engine block. Um, the turbocharger you... is on the outside of the engine yeah, block. Yeah, but I need to finish up the turbocharger first. So we're gonna clamp this up on the machine table here. Because I made cracks, I'm saying. What? That's not what I want to hear. Because all the pieces are still in here. Ah. So I got this now all clamped. Solid carbide cutter. Which we don't have, Which of we course. Have, of course. <laughs> we got enough solid carbide cutters for the next decade. These are Göring solid yeah. carbide cutters. Oh, it's empty. Shit. <laughs> this one is still good. Here, look at that. Oh, that's a very nice. Well, cutter. take out the old, uh, the empty ones. No, they still good. <gasps> yeah. And if you drop them, they broke. If right? somebody so. dropped them, it was you. So he never drops anything. This works. Hey, you actually wanted to mount the camera. What would we do without that machine? I think it cleaned up nicely. That turbocharger looks quite small. Yeah, it's not a big turbocharger. That's the ceiling surface is nice and even now again. Oh my god. That thing looks like it needs to be replaced. 320 grit. Really fine. So this is really, really smooth. Yeah, looks really nice. Yeah, you don't want to catch on these with your fingernail. That's important. I don't. I got the internals still in. And they're gonna stay inside? The yeah. internals are really hard to take out. You're gonna do more damage than good. Okay. As I turn it around, and that's how I pull my rag out, yeah? And now I got oh all God. the dust. I wanna blow it out from this side. So now what we gotta do yep. is actually rework these threads. I don't see any threads. Watch your eyeballs. That's what Dave made oh. used to say. Really? <laughs> you don't have the perfect size? No, that's the right one. What size it is? M10. M10. Yeah, I wonder how we did everything without that cutting oil. See, there is a lot of garbage in there. Stats. Yeah, stats. <laughs> Look at how he fastened it. It's going to fall down any second. Why? Why would because it fall Because it down? moved. It's not moving. It did move. This is a bowler vice. Nothing oh moves on this one. It's a different size. Yeah. It must this be M8. It must be M8. Why is it not M7? Can you tell everybody that? Because there are no uneven numbers. No, actually only Italians would produce an M7. In my word. You can take it off like a water pump. Now we gotta do these two. Look at that setup. Yep. <laughs> when you do them now and they clean and you have later on a turbocharger failure, you actually have a chance to get that turbocharger out without body off. This is the boost adjustment from the turbocharger. What? See these little fins down here? No. They, yeah. are, they basically can open this airflow or reduce the airflow. And depending on the boost required, this turbocharger will regulate down or up. Electric actuator here. And this actuator goes on a little lever and that lever moves this boost adjustment. It's important. Oh my God. And yeah. they cannot fall out. And they, what they, is that? And that is a chunk that came out this of that thingy. This is the old turbocharger, which doesn't have any apparent damage to it. Oh! <laughs> Let me explain why I replaced this. Now, yeah. when you have a turbocharger, it's supposed to have a little bit of play. Okay? This one actually does have play now. But when we took the engine apart, this thing was locked up. It was, it was absolutely feeling solid, and you could only turn it like this. I soaked it in oil and soaked it in brake cleaner and it freed it up. But I think what happened on the inside is that the 
contaminated oil with all the metal chips got it to seize up yeah and i assume that the bearings are kind of worn out and i did Ooh. not feel good keeping this turbocharger inside no so we found a new turbocharger for only 130 euros new or a new turbo that's called a turbocharger cartridge now i'm gonna have to clean the lens oh. Okay, I won't argue with you. I have a little bit of Christmas decoration over here. I gotta cut all this out. Fabian bought a turbocharger repair kit. Oh! It got these studs in them. And we want to make sure these studs are long enough. Right. And they not. Look. What? Oh! That sucks. We're gonna have to get longer ones. And it says here Land Rover on it. So, you guys, if you're reading this, AJ USA, the turbocharger repair kit sucks. Did you bend it up? I mean, I you bend to, it? I had to bend it to get oh. it out. This is how we want it. We want like a minimal gap. I should, you should clean. clean. You're still recording? Yes, unfortunately. That's because it. it's going to be boring. I'm going to film again because he's yelling at me. And when you film, I'm, you think I'm stop yelling. <laughs> AJ USA sucks because this is not included. Do you know where our copper gaskets are? Yes. I actually don't know where they are. Um. Oh, look at that. I'm not too stupid. I actually paid attention. Oh, you found them? Yes. You know how much the turbocharger is from Land Rover? 1,500 euros. 2,500 euros. Really? Such yeah. a small piece. Okay. But that's like half of the money for a new engine. We're waiting. See, this is the new cartridge. From this moment on, I'm not allowed to drop anything because that thing is sensitive. It looks like but also lunch boxes, you know, that you can buy in the States. So he cleaned up for half an hour. And I don't, don't want to wreck it. it. We have to get this cartridge set up in the same way as the old cartridge. Oh, I put it over there. When you watch a tutorial movie from the people who sell these, it's like a five minute job. And in reality, it's a debacle. Alone to get this thing out took me beating on it with a hammer forever. One important thing is to transfer the adjustment screw setting from the old turbocharger to the new turbocharger. If you verify the stepped only, your turbocharger core housing may be different. You can see this here. This core housing has a completely different setting than this one. See how much more this is? So what I did is you measure the setting in the open flat position here um, against the reference. What I used is here this hole because that's anyway giving us the position and I measure over here and I measure 19.5 right here mm -hmm. and I took this measurement from over here. Go on here. I have the same 19.5 here. Okay, that's how I transferred the measurement and I can also now visually compare the two. I can see that it's a little bit over and this one also, it's a little bit over, so it looks reasonable like this. And I went off this locating hole. And this locating hole determines where this piece engages into the adjuster here. Because when you use a cheap-ass turbocharger like I did, the cheapest one on the planet, but balanced, you can see these are reject components. They are from most likely the same casting and same manufacturer. But they rejected this component because it's not completely perfect. You can behind. put your wrench on here, which you really know. sucks. Well, and on here you could, you can get your wrench behind yeah. it, and you know. Can. But oh the important God. piece is that the internals are correct. Oh, so this looks good. now the same. The stress level just doesn't go down on yeah. that engine. You know, we are already oh, three hours three into, hours this, into this job. These oh, are the yeah. balancing marks, okay? Right here. Oh, this one is balanced right here. See right here? Yeah. Gotta line up this little dowel, which is really difficult. I marked here where the dowel pin is, mm -hmm. and I can feel how this moves the flaps. It moves something. There's a resistance over there. So it's going in really easy now. 
the piece of copper. So it's in. Now we can put the Are bolts sure? back in. This looks good. Yeah. It's not flat. Now we put the bolts back in. Okay. I can't make a video like this. It's too boring. Well, who cares? It's most important work. No, it's not. It's most annoying work. Spanner. Yeah. We tighten them up and that's it. They are tight. Now the next thing is this gasket. That one? Let's see, this gasket. Got to go on here. There. I put a mark on here when I took it apart. See, there are three dots. Mm -hmm. And these three dots got to line up with three dots I put on here somewhere. No, I hope. Yep. Right here. Yeah. Like this. Otherwise, the turbocharger later on will not fit. So this goes in here. And we need our little tiny micro wrench. Not micro wrench. The perfect bit on it. Yes. So it doesn't get any debris inside. So this is 1200 degree temperature grease. And I'm tempted to put this on here. Some grease on here. Snap in. I did not move this actuator since I took it off. See, this still lines up. What a tedious job. Okay, there. Now I can tighten these up. Oh. Ah, oh, don't snap it. I'm gonna use lock tight. And we're gonna put some of this high temp grease on here. Oh. This goes in here. Oh, we are not supposed to make any mistakes now. No, no, I don't want to put any torque on this axis. No? Oh, okay. No. Yeah, stop. I need to change the battery. Yeah. AJ USA sucks. A user. Oh my god. Yeah. There we go. That's yeah. a 50 millimeter. So, that's tight. Yeah, having a leak in this area is terrible. So this is extremely close here on yep. this bolt, but it's not rubbing. And I've seen on the internet that this little connecting rod failed and got stuck. Schraubensicherungslack. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've never used it. If we put this on here. Yeah, why? It smells oh. good. Really? Doesn't that look absolutely professional? Oh my God. Oh my God. That's not so much, oh my God. Borg Warner. You actually said that name in a meeting this week. Yeah, we got a Borg Warner project right now. They don't even have the building finished, but they're telling us our machine is late. <laughs> <laughs> That's normal in Mexico. Yeah. You know what? I'm almost tempted to put on here now this glue. Of course we do that. It looks like it was it was done by a professional. Yeah. So the video is getting funny. Oh my god, that must have been a real professional doing this. <laughs> my first turbocharger I ever did. And hopefully the last. Finished. Where did you put it? I see this one goes in here. So like this. See, is that this, also part of the turbocharger? Yeah, see, this one was in here. Oh my god. We're never gonna get done with that engine. We have to clean this surface and we have to clean this surface here. Oh. That is tedious work. Though we all don't have the, the other part. Yeah, what do you call it? The other part of the thread. <laughs> this one is better, in my opinion, from the quality than the AJ USA ones. That's good enough. And yeah. this is all left over here. Let me see. I don't see anything. Yeah. Oh, oh I like those. Yeah, they're nice, right? <laughs> Fabian bought it. Yeah. I only but they are not copper. It. Yeah, I got it. Focus copper? on this. And we're gonna do a nice. And that's the only spot you can't use any copper grease. Oh. 
So oh, he yeah. almost put on the turbocharger on the wrong side of the engine. <laughs> Standalone information that's not accurate. Well, okay. this way it yeah. doesn't go on, so it must go on this way. Yeah. Three layers. So the turbocharger is freshly rebuilt. Yeah. And also we should take that paper out before we run it. Yes. Can we take that out? It's in the way. Yeah. Done. <laughs> which goes into the turbocharger. So we put it right in here. Yeah. We rotate the turbocharger a couple of times. Don't you have to talk it? No, I can't. And then turbocharger is closed up. This is marked, this is marked. So these can actually stay on. These are a nightmare to get out. And down here is the... Okay, so obviously this was an engine out turbocharger rebuilt. If you're interested in the entire rebuild of this Land Rover Discovery 3 engine from Fabian, I put a couple of links in our video description. Um, I think it totals about five or six videos from line boring over piston install over engine out and then engine reassembly and so on. Hopefully you liked this video this week. And you learned something new. <laughs> Maybe you learned how not to do it. In any case, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing. And in any case, don't unsubscribe. And if you are interested in our patches, please write Vera an email. She will get back to you. Yes, I will. We also thank all our Patreons for supporting our channel. They make these videos possible every week. Yes. Thank and you. That's it. Yeah, that's it. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week.